Hi, got something fun for you today. Extended techniques. We spend so much of our time working with our curved arm tools of the bow arm. They all draw arcs to make a straight line to produce a beautiful sound. What if music could be more than that? What if texture became as important as pitch? What if there are more dimensions to work with than straight lines all drawn an inch or two away from the bridge? Many composers these days are writing virtuoso music for strings using extended techniques, working in more dimensions, vertically, horizontally, and behind the bridge, on the bridge, super soltasto. Modern extended techniques with the bow explore the possibilities with where texture becomes equal to, or perhaps more important than pitch. Exploration of these techniques is great exercise for the development of your bow arm, and also cultivates a sense of wonder about what music is. Let me show you some examples. One of my favorites is Colenio Tratuto. We all know Colenio means to hit with the bow. We do that in a lot of orchestral compositions. What about Colenio Tratuto? which is colenio, not batuto, not hit, but pulled. It's a very interesting sound. We all go horizontally across the string. What if we went this way? What if we combined it? Into circular bowing or spazzolato. We all know about Ponticello, and there are various levels of Ponticello. What about molto, molto, soltasto? When the viola is played there, it sounds like a beautiful wood Native American flute. There are all kinds of great sounds that you can make with your instrument. I'd like to highlight two important websites to help you explore these techniques. The first is by Anne Lanzalotti, one of the world's leading interpreters of extended technique music. Her brilliant website, Shaken Not Stuttered, includes very specific isolated demonstrations of the techniques used, and equally important, how they're notated so you know when to use what. Enjoy these examples. Anne's website also includes conversations and interactions with composers, so you can explore their thought process and emotion that leads them to create these new sound worlds through the use of extended techniques. I like this idea that you're playing around with kind of things lifting off or not. Yeah. So it's really just about how much you're touching almost. Exactly. How grounded you are for these different bow pressures. Yeah. If the pandemic has left you with some extra time, this would be a good time to spend an afternoon or a few afternoons exploring Anne's wonderful site. 
Another great place for illustrations of extended techniques and inspiration is Garth Knox. Garth is one of the most relentlessly creative people I've ever met. And his website includes virtuosic performances of etudes based on these modern or extended techniques called viola spaces. Garth's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant performances of these pieces um, are some of the most music musically satisfying etude performances I've ever heard in my life. Enjoy this example. Garth's website also includes some very instructive videos on the specific techniques he uses. I've often said that the definition of virtuosity is making something very difficult look very easy, and uh, Garth certainly does that. Well, I hope this brief introduction to the world of extended techniques has left you hungry for more, for listening, for performing, or perhaps for doing both. I urge you to explore Garth's and Anne's websites and to uh, try a piece or two yourself. I think you'll find that your sense of enjoyment and wonder about what music is, is cultivated. I think that you'll develop your technique by using your hands and arms in different ways. And I think it'll be a great uh, pandemic lockdown experience. Take care. <laughs>